This is Sapphire from BioNanoGenomics. With it, you can directly image the genome in high resolution to detect variations such as deletions, duplications, translocations, and inversions, known as structural variations, with sensitivity as high as 99%. The process is simple and automated to enable routine use in disease research. Structural variation commonly occurs in a broad range of diseases, including neurodegenerative diseases, intellectual disabilities, and various types of cancer. In fact, the first targeted cancer therapies were based on gene fusions, a type of structural variant. Given the role structural variants play in both understanding and developing potential targeted therapies, it is important that structural variants are accurately identified or called. To do this, there are two fundamentally different yet complementary approaches, sequencing and whole genome imaging. In short read sequencing or next generation sequencing, DNA is read in short segments of about 150 base pairs, and the read sequences are compared to a reference genome. It can characterize small variants, but structural variants are often tens of thousands of base pairs or longer, so short read sequencing is not an accurate way of calling them. What's more, two-thirds of the genome is repetitive, and structural variants in repeat regions are often invisible by whole genome sequencing. Whole genome imaging with the SAFIRE system takes an entirely different approach to understanding the structure of DNA through imaging. It has proven to accurately identify structural variants ranging from 500 base pairs to whole chromosome lengths with sensitivity as high as 99%. First, native ultra-high molecular weight DNA, multi-megabase pairs in length, is isolated. Fluorescent labels are enzymatically attached to these ultralong molecules of DNA at a specific sequence motif that occurs throughout the genome. The resulting label patterns are unique for each section of the genome. The full length of the DNA remains intact during isolation and labeling, preserving the architecture for the next step, imaging the genome. The labeled DNA is pipetted into the sapphire chip and placed in the sapphire instrument. In the chip, the DNA is uncoiled or linearized across thousands of parallel nanochannels and imaged, revealing its fluorescent label patterns. By capturing these images in repeated cycles across the hundreds of thousands of nanochannels on the chip, all the images necessary to assemble a map of an entire genome are captured. Algorithms extract molecules from the images, and then bio-nano algorithms construct consensus genome maps. BioNano Access software also allows easy visualization and filtering of SV calls using our built-in control SV database. From the thousands of SVs found in any human sample, you can remove variants present in controls and narrow down your SVs of interest to a handful with just a few clicks. This is all enabled due to the extremely long molecules isolated and imaged with the Sapphire system. Want to use whole genome imaging for your next discovery? Go to bionanogenomics.com to learn more about how you can call more structural variants with higher accuracy and sensitivity.